Hello, in this video, we'll take a look at how to use a count function in Excel. The count function is used to count the number of numbers or other values in a range of cells. In this example, we'll use this range of cells A2 through A8. So here's a formula for that in the cell C4. It's count within parenthesis and you specify the range in this case a2 through a8 and you get the value 3 which denotes that there are three cells in this range of cells that contain a number so the count function really counts a number of numbers now among these numbers some of them are dates some of them are decimal values some of them are integer values and so on so you can see that a date is counted as a number by the count function what if you wanted to count numbers as well as text then you use the count a function now this one will count the text such as hello and boolean values such as true or false and so on as well using the count a formula as you can see here includes all values uh, that are not blanks including dates text such as hello and boolean values such as true or false and also the division by zero error message that you see in the cell a8 all of these are counted as part of count a and you get the value six that is six of these cells have something in them what if you want to do the opposite of count a what if you want to count all the blanks there's a formula for that count blank and notice that i begin the formula with an equal to sign which is what you do for all formulas and now you specify the range cells a2 through a8 and it's going to give you the number one because there's one cell that is a complete blank now the count a formulas the count a and the count and the count blank formulas are recalculated when you change the values in the range so for example here i'm going to delete the 56 number in the cell a5 and when i do that the total number of numbers is now reduced from 3 to 2 as you can see in cell c4 and the total number of blanks is increased from 1 to 2 as you can see in the cell c6 and if you undo the change you get back the original values so that's it for now i hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching